What's up guys, how you doing? Uh, bear with me as I'm uh, sitting in this little tight corner right now. I could not find my tripod, so uh, I had to prop the phone up on the cash register. It is just after eight o'clock. It's probably 10 after eight at the moment. I still have to shut down the buildings. Uh, still gotta eat dinner and do some other stuff, but I just wanna make a quick video. This is nothing to do with reptiles. Um, but it's a little bit to do with the business. Well, it's a lot to do with the business. Um, first off, one thing I do want to apologize for. Uh, today was a busy day, okay? Uh, today is Friday. Uh, Amanda worked the store in Vienna until 4 p.m. Then I take over for the rest of the day. Uh, Matt left just after 4. Uh, so I'm here from 4 to 7 by myself, which is totally fine. However, we, by the way, if you hear any noise, that's my dog moving. Nova's with me. Come on, Nova. Don't say hi. Say hello. Say hello. Right here. Look. Over here. Say hello. All right. Get down. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. No, I ain't playing. All right. Sorry about that. Anyway, so we had 40 sales today, and I've uh, mentioned it in the past, a long time ago, probably. Uh, 40 sales doesn't mean 40 people. Uh, 40 sales means some of them walk in here with one person, two people, five people. You know, we probably had a good 100, 150 people in the store today. Um, not every sale is, is a quick, hey, I need a rat. Here you go. Goodbye. Uh, some people have questions. Some people have trouble feeding their snakes. Some people just want to chat. If you call and I do not answer the phone, I am so sorry. When somebody, is, when I have a customer in front of me, I do not answer the phone. Sometimes I'll hit you with a text where I say, I'll call you right back, or please give me a few minutes. And I do try to get back to everybody. I really do. Uh, sometimes we're just really busy and it's not possible. Uh, you know, with one person, yeah, it's a small store, but there's times where there's, you know, 10 or 12 people in the store. And it's, I mean, it's hard just to help them, let alone responding to text messages, uh, I don't think I left anybody unread on the texting side today, possibly on the Facebook messages because I haven't checked them yet. But you got to understand, sometimes there's only one person here that's, that's handling the, the phone calls, the Facebook messages, and the customers in the store. Uh, our hours are posted on Facebook, on Google, on our website. Uh, as long as they're all correct, I don't know. They should be, but there has been some glitches and things didn't happen the way they should. Um, but yeah, I do apologize. If you call and nobody answers, I'm so sorry. We will try to call you back or text, or if no one, if you don't hear from us, just call us back in a few minutes. Uh, just please don't call three times in a row within five seconds. Obviously, if we didn't answer, we were busy. Call back in a few minutes, not a few seconds. But anyway... Uh, one thing I cannot apologize for, if you told me whether it was yesterday or a month ago or six months ago or a year ago, if you said, hey, if you, you know, if you get a certain snake in the store, please give me a call. I, I want to buy that snake. And I do not call you. We have, I looked it up the other day. I'm going to, I'm going to post it in the video. Uh, we have over 1,120 local customers on our loyalty thing on the, on the system. Some of them could be duplicates, but there's well over a thousand people that come here, uh, whether it's on a weekly basis, monthly, whatever, whatever. When you tell me that you're looking, we'll say a pied female, a, an adult pied female. When you tell me you're looking for an adult pied female, please give you a call if I get one in and you see me post a picture saying hey we got this adult pied female in the store you know she's ready to go blah 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 i'm not purposely not calling you as much as i don't remember who told me that now there was a time that i remembered every single name of every single person that came here because i ran this whole place by myself i mean i started in a garage uh in struthers and you know i might have had four customers a week uh, now to the point where we had, like I said, 40 sales today, um, plus the Facebook messages, the emails, uh, the texting and all that stuff. There's a lot going on and, and I don't, 
some of you I probably never even met. Uh, some of you have been coming here for a few years and we've become very close and we've become friends. And I still might not call you when the snake you want comes in because I just, I don't remember who told me that or the display that we sold today. I had three people messaging me mad about that display because they tried to buy it a couple months ago or a couple weeks ago and I wasn't selling it back then, but I got a nice display, a better one for the Hermitage store. I said, you know what? I don't want to mess with this heat tape. I'm going to just sell it as is, let someone else fix it. We don't need this no more. And people are mad at me because they asked me at some point that they wanted to buy it and I told them no. I don't remember every conversation. I don't remember what each of my customers wants, uh, especially if you're asking for a certain snake. Uh, we have a lot of different customers with a lot of different snakes and there's a lot of different conversations. So, you know, it's, it's hard for us to keep up with. I say us, but we're all individuals. So if you tell me that you're looking for a certain snake and you know, my wife has it in Hermitage, or if you told her you want a certain snake and then I got it and I'm posting, you can't be mad about that. We're a store. We are a business. Uh, business, you know, you're in business to make money. I do like giving people deals and hooking them up and I love all of our customers. Some of you, I've, I've, I have customers that aren't even customers anymore because they got out of reptiles and we're still friends. Like we still talk whenever we can. Um, just because of how close we've gotten. Um, and there's probably going to be a lot more of you like that. I mean, I'm, I'm really close with a lot of my customers and, and hundreds, hundreds of them. Uh, a couple of them, I even know what their snakes' names are. Most of you, probably not. But uh, some of you, yeah, I do know your snakes' names and probably even what size they eat. But for the most part, I don't. Uh, I have people come in and say, hey, I need the same size I got last time. I'm like same size what rat mouse roaches i don't know i don't know when you were here last i'm not sure if i ever saw you before <laughs> you know so you gotta understand you know we we you know there's a lot going on we are a small business we are trying to expand a little bit at a time we're trying to get better try to run more effectively more efficiently um but it's difficult sometimes, you know, some, some days we may only get, you know, 10 or 12 customers through the store and I have more time to, to maybe make the website better or up, up, uh, update Facebook with some better posts or, um, you know, just conversate, you know, I might answer your, your texts or your Facebook messages a little faster, but days like today, there was not a moment, you know, since I came into the store at four o'clock. I, I didn't have a single minute without anybody in the store. There was consistently someone in here all the way up until 7.20, um, which is 20 minutes after we closed. But, you know, I was, he was still buying a snake and getting his, you know, stuff that he needed for it. Um, but, yeah, some some days are, are hectic. You know, I'm sorry for, for the being hectic. But if you are in the market for something, it don't matter if it's a snake or, or a rack or you know, anything, the best thing you could do is just follow our Facebook page because that's where we post things that come in, uh, any snakes or racks or anything special that we're getting, I'm going to post it to Facebook because that's how I know I can reach more people, you know, um, it's, uh, there's so many more like little personal conversations I kind of want to get into, but I don't because I don't want to put anybody out there, especially by name or anything like that. And they're not bad people, but I've had some really tough situations and things I overthink about that I shouldn't, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, like someone was talking to me last week, they wanted a certain snake that I didn't even have yet, but I was going to get it the next day. And they wanted to either trade me snakes or they wanted to, me to buy the snakes off of them and uh or put their snakes in the store on consignment i'm like yeah that's fine you know just send me a list of what you have but they wanted a snake that i was gonna get the next evening and i told them send me a list tonight or in the morning and i'll either shoot you an offer for the snakes or you could put them on consignment or whatever whatever and it, or if we could work out a deal that you can get the snake that's coming in tomorrow 
uh, we'll work something out, but you got to send me a list either tonight or in the morning because he'll be here tomorrow evening. So fast forward to the next day, the snake comes in. I went, I took pictures of him and I went to go post them on Facebook. I'm like, oh, that's right. Someone wanted this snake last night. Let me go see if they sent me a list. What's going on? There was no list. They never, no other word. I'm not going to reach out to somebody to see it like, you know, if they still want something that they mentioned they wanted or this, that, and the other, that's like Walmart. You know, if you show up to Walmart, they don't have no toilet paper. You can't go to the desk and say, Hey, can someone please give me a call when you have toilet paper again? Like it's not going to happen. And of course, you know, I'm comparing apples to oranges because, you know, we're just a small, small shed in the, you know, my backyard, a little store compared to a billion multi-billion dollar uh, company. If I worked the entire store by myself today, that would have been 40 transactions or 100 to 150 people that I would have had to talk to and interact to by myself. You know, that's a lot. So we can't just call and reach out, hey, uh, I got this snake, are you interested in it? I, I, that would be goofy for me to just call a bunch of different people and, hey, something come in today I think you might want or you mentioned in the past, oh, that wasn't you, sorry, it must have been the other guy. You know what I mean? That'd be goofy. But one thing I can do is post a picture to Facebook and say, hey, here's what we have here. Come check it out. Um, so it's, you know, I, I, I don't want to apologize for that because I don't think I'm in the wrong uh, that I can't do that. Like, there's so many people. And even if we're I'm close with every single one of you, I'm still not going to remember every what every person wants or what every person told me that they wanted uh, whether it was yesterday, last week, or a month ago, I don't, I don't always know. What I do know is I could reach more people through Facebook. So that's where I post at to say what's in the store. Um, and some of those people watch the page, uh, and that particular person, when they saw the picture could have came right in and got that snake the next day or sent me the list, but I'm pretty sure they were just mad at me cause I didn't call them when it came in and just never heard from them again. But you know, it, it's how it happens sometimes. <clears throat> but another thing I want to talk about, and I have said this in the past, um, Big Sal's Feeder Farm. Feeder Farm. We sell feeders. That's like the main thing that we do is we sell feeders. I want to make sure everyone's animals are fed and that we're producing or supplying you with the best quality, you know, rats, mice, bugs, whatever you need. Plus, you know, the supplies is extra. The snakes are extra. I used to say feeders is my business, snakes is my hobby. Because I bred snakes for myself. I'd sell, you know, what we produce to, to close friends or close customers. Uh, but for the most part, it was just feeders. And now we, you know, have so much more going on with the supplies and the live, with the reptiles and everything else. Um, but feeders, supplies, reptiles that we sell. I'm not a vet. I'm not a vet tech. I have no medical uh, experience in the medical field. Nobody should ever call, text, or message us saying it's an emergency. If you have an emergency, call the vet. Depending on the emergency, you might have to call 911. <laughs> I'm just being funny, but you can't message and you're like, I have this emergency uh, and send me pictures of a half dead snake that's, I don't know what's wrong with it. All right. Sorry about that. Jimmy came walking in. Um, but anyway, yeah, we sell feeders. We sell supplies. We sell reptiles. I'm not a vet. Uh, but I, all the, that's all I want to say all the time. But many times I've had people message and, you know, I have an emergency, please call me, or I have an emergency, and send me pictures of, of an animal that looks like it's knocking on death's door, or with a prolapse, or just crazy, you know, off-the-wall things. If there's an emergency with an animal, you've got to take it to a vet. We cannot help you with, with veterinary or medical stuff like that. Certain little things I can do on my own, and mostly I'm only going to do those things with my own reptiles, like uh, a respiratory infection. 
I can treat snakes, I can treat my own snakes if they have a respiratory infection. If somebody tells me that their snake has a respiratory infection, I might try to explain the, the remedies and, and the, the stuff that I use or the medications that we use. But my first thing is going to say, you got to take it to a vet. Um, but I can't help you. I'm not equipped or experienced to do medical or, you know, veterinary treatment on animals. You know, I did grow up on a pig farm. I, I did have to do certain things that farmers can do on their own before having to go to a vet. Uh, like if you watch nerd on YouTube, he'll do certain minor like procedures uh, on his snakes. If a snake is egg bound or if there's a respiratory infection or if there's a bad tooth, like certain things they could do on their own. But you you can't call somebody that's not a vet to, to try to, to help you with a sick animal. That shit, there's, you know, um, there's no emergency for Big South Feeder Farm, for someone to call up, there's no emergency uh, that we can help you with. You know, we sell feeders. That's not an emergency. You know what I mean? And it's like, I don't want to laugh about it. And it, it, it kind of blows my mind when people message me about certain things, especially if it's something like, you know, like I said, a half dead animal. And it's like, just from the picture alone, I could tell you, you really need to get to a vet like yesterday because that thing's not going to make it without a vet. Why are you calling a place that sells rats because your animal's dying? I can't help with that. As much as I want to, I can't wish it back to good health. I don't know what happened or, you know, um, so there's no emergency. And, and some of those calls or texts might come in at you know, 8 p.m. when we're closed or 3 a.m. or midnight. And it'll be like, hey, please give me a call. It's really important. Um, one, I never bring the business phone in the house. Uh, the number that you call and text when you want to come out or check our hours, that's the store phone. Uh, when the store's closed, the phone's in the store. When, you know, on Tuesdays we're closed, phone's on the charger in the store. I can't carry that with me all day. Um, like I've told you, we have over 1,100 local customers. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know, just normal business hours on normal business days, it could sometimes be difficult to answer all the text, Facebook messages, emails, plus help the customers that are in the store. There's no way I'm going to do that also on my day off. And I say day off like that because technically I don't have a day off. Tuesday is my day to take in the, re the insects that we're receiving for the week, cup up bugs for both stores, try to put inventory away, keep things clean, tidy, handle the website and all that stuff. I cannot do that and respond to 20, 30, 40, 50 people throughout the day. You know, um, we have workers here in Vienna and we have a new worker in Hermitage that are helping us so that we can answer messages faster and, and try to have things run more efficiently and more effectively. Um, but sometimes, you know, we're just overwhelmed dealing with the customers that are here, let alone all the extra stuff. Uh, so when we're closed on Tuesdays, you know, I can't answer all those messages. That's my time to really get some work done uninterrupted and I can do, you know, stuff that really needs done that I can't do during normal working hours because there are so many people that are calling, texting, and needing to talk to me about certain things. Um, you know, I try, and you know I try, you know, like I said, a lot of you, you know, I've gotten really close with over the years, but I can't, you know, I'm not God. I'm not all seeing or all around, all that stuff. I'm just not, and nobody is. And uh, I think some people just, they... They expect so much out of me that I get overwhelmed and I beat myself up sometimes because I can't make everybody happy. And I shouldn't feel like that. And that's just my own personal, you know, overthinking and whatnot. But I'm only one person and Amber's only one person. Amanda's only one person. Matt's only one person and Anna's only one person. We can each only do so much uh, at a time. But part of that so much is... We sell feeders, we breed, we raise feeders, we sell snakes, we, you know, take care of the animals that we have in the store, uh, bag up 
bedding, food, etc., etc. We cannot handle veterinary stuff. We cannot respond to your phone call at three o'clock in the morning. Um, you know, just a lot of certain things we can't do. And most people understand that. And that's kind of why I don't even like making these kinds of videos because I might be talking to six people out of 1100 and those six people won't even watch this video. You know what I mean? Uh, but maybe if you see me, you know, tomorrow or any, any other time during the day and you see me just moving quickly and, you know, maybe I'm mad or just in a rush, you'll, maybe you'll understand more a little why, you know, um, which is why I like to do things like the reptile shows and the customer appreciation parties, because that gives me more time that I could just sit, kind of, not, not so much sit back because I'm still working, but I get to talk more and I get to BS more with certain people and all the people really, uh, <clears throat> Which is, like I said, that's why customer appreciation party is so great and the reptile shows are great because there's more talking and more just all that stuff. And I'm not so frustrated because I have to get bugs cupped and I have to get cages cleaned and this, that, and the other. Uh, so, yeah, it's just been, you know, it's been wild recently. And I think really, especially this week, is because a lot of people got their taxes back and we have sold a lot of snakes. Uh, in the last week or two. Um, and that's cool. You know, we're going to get more in, uh, we're going to get more in hermitage and we're trying to get more people to hermitage because it is very, very, very slow in hermitage. Um, to put it lightly, if, if, uh, our lease was up next month, which it's not, we got till December, I believe, uh, for the first year, if our lease was up next month, I probably would not keep hermitage location because of how slow it is. But I think it's gonna pick up over the spring and summer when more babies are hatched and born and the you know bearded dragons and ball pythons and whatever other reptiles, you know, people are gonna be looking for food. And I think things are gonna get better. Um, but as far as that store goes, we'll cross the bridge when it gets there, at least until our one year lease is up, we're gonna be there for every hour that, that we say we're gonna be there. Um, and we're, like I said, we're trying to bring more people in. I'm trying to think of certain giveaways and things that I can do to draw people to that store. Um, but right now, like I said, it's been a busy couple weeks. So I've just been focusing on getting work done in the business instead of, you know, trying to work on the business as far as marketing and trying to bring people there and whatnot. But yeah, sorry for the rant. Uh, chances are, if you didn't want to hear me rant, you'd already shut this off, but it's late. I got to go get some dinner, uh, back to something real quick. I always tell you, I want to be an open book with you guys all the time, even if it's not about reptile stuff. And I'm going to be making a video very, very, very soon. The video is more on our personal lives than about reptiles. But, um, you know, there's kind of an announcement we want to make. And I've been trying, kind of hesitating to make the announcement. A few people already know. Uh, but I wanted to make a video just to explain it a little more in detail and what's going to happen uh, over the summer and all that good stuff. So stay tuned for that. I don't know if I'm doing the video tomorrow or next week. Uh, I actually already made it last week. But I was in my truck when I made it. The truck is loud and it's just a horrible video. So anyway, stay tuned for that. Uh, it'll be here soon. If you're close enough to me, you probably already know the announcement, I'm sure. But for the rest of you, it's very exciting and I think you'll be happy about it. But we'll see. All right, you guys have a beautiful night and I'll see you tomorrow.